Okay, we're here uh, going to demonstrate the Tesla coil driver circuit. <clears throat> we start off with a, um, a battery from a trail camera, an outdoor camera. Um, that feeds a 555 timer circuit. Um, set up, uh, you know, in the uh, 100 hertz to a couple kilohertz, might be a little bit higher. That feeds a power transistor, 2N3055. It's about $2 at Radio Shack. Got it on a little heat sink here. It gets warm if, it, if you run this for a while. Um, probably want to put it on a bigger heat sink, but this was <coughs> this is constructed for a senior project uh, exercise. Um, that power transistor, the emitter is shunt to ground. The collector, which is the case, um, or the uh, heat sink here, um, that then is connected up to the coil. Uh, you can put a, uh, it's connected up to the uh, primary winding of the coil, and then the other, the other uh, side is connected over to the battery. So what you're effectively doing is shorting the battery to ground through the coil. That, <coughs> that audio, sh uh, control signal that shorts it to ground at that those frequencies then in, creates a magnetic field inside the uh, ignition coil which then is multiplied by the primary or secondary winding which is a high voltage winding this is uh, they're on the order of 30 kV on the output of these uh, car coils this particular car coil we went down to the parts store it's 13 dollars brand new you can buy these things for probably nothing or you can find them in the junkyard. The uh, primary or secondary winding output goes to spark gap. And basically the scar spark gap is just uh, two screws close together, not touching. There's a small gap in there. This one works so good we can actually separate that um, by about a half a centimeter or thereabouts, maybe a little bit less. Um, secondary or the other side of the spark gap is just connected to ground for this purpose. Um, from here this spark back you would connect a high voltage um, large capacitor from the primary side to ground and then on the other side instead of having this wire to ground you would have your primary wire of your Tesla coil wound around the secondary wire uh, that is that 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 is connected to the toroid. Um, we haven't done that yet. Um, we'll probably do that in the next few days. So anyway, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to turn the lights off and fire it up. Here we go. All right, it's got a good spark there, and we've got these potentiometers on the 555 circuit. Where we can change the frequency. And pulse it. And it's basically it. That's it. This thing will drive a fluorescent light too, so. That's it. Adios.